Author and adventurer William C. Brooke was born in February of 1884 in Westminster, Maryland. A veteran of World War I, C. Brooke suffered injury during a gas attack at Verdun in 1916 and, like Hemingway, Fitzgerald, and Eliot, is considered to be part of the Lost Generation, that group of American writers who came of age during World War I and established their literary reputations in the 1920s. While other members of the Lost Generation turned to poetry and fiction, however, Seabrook turned to journalism and, ultimately, to what would now be dubbed new journalism or, more likely, creative non-fiction. Seabrook's personal life is described only briefly on his Wikipedia page, where it is noted that in 1912, Seabrook married his first of three wives, Catherine Pauline Edmondson. They divorced in 1934 and soon after he married Marjorie Worthington in 1935. The marriage ended in 1939 and was followed up by his marriage to Constance Q, which began and ended in 1942. Clearly, Seabrook was not an easy man to marry. In part, this is likely due to his drug and alcohol addictions, but the legends of his sexual perversions are, well, legendary. Seabrook's first major book came in 1927, a true adventure sort of story about his travels in Arabia. The success of Adventures in Arabia set the pattern for Seabrook's entire writing career, and nine more books followed, all of them supposedly true accounts of the author's adventures among non-Western cultural groups. Jungle Ways, published in 1930 detailed the author's time in West Africa, including interactions with tribes of cannibals. Although the tribe did not allow Seabrook to join them when they consumed human flesh, Seabrook later managed to have a friend who worked at a hospital in Paris steal some meat from a cadaver. Delighted with the opportunity, Seabrook cooked and consumed human flesh, comparing it to pork. Later, in 1935, Seabrook would write Asylum a painful discussion of his battle with alcohol and drug addiction during a time when Alcoholics Anonymous and the whole idea of a 12-step program was unheard of. He was, at his own request, committed to an insane asylum near his home. He remained there for more than six months but never broke his addictions. Asylum was followed by four more books, the most popular of which was Witchcraft, subtitled Its Power in the World Today. Witchcraft published in 1940, was an expression of Seabrook's lifelong fascination with the occult and black magic. Early in his life, Seabrook forged a close friendship with the English occultist Alistair Crowley, himself a close friend of the writer H.P. Lovecraft. By far the most widely known aspect of Seabrook's interest in magic is his 1929 book The Magic Island, a study of Haitian culture and magical practices. While his other books are only vaguely remembered, The Magic Island continues to influence audiences today. In particular, Seabrook's study of Haiti was directly responsible for bringing the figure of the zombie into American culture. Seabrook committed suicide in 1945. His greatest legacy, The Zombie, lives on.